Weak material layers, even with negligible thickness, can affect the overall stability of slopes. To better find the critical slip surface and factor of safety, Slide 3's unique weak layer handling feature comes into play. It allows you to find multiple weak layers at different locations and analyze the slip surfaces along each one of them and their possible combinations. This tutorial will walk you through the steps of using the weak layer handling feature to perform an in-depth analysis using multiple weak layers within a slope. The tutorial outlines two methods, user-defined surfaces and global search. Open the tutorial file by selecting Open and then the Tutorials folder. Click on the Multiple Weak Surfaces Starting File folder and open the file Multiple Weak Surfaces. To see the defined material properties in this model, go ahead and select Materials, Define Materials from the menu. Here, Interface 1 and Interface 2 are the weak materials. Notice that the cohesion is zero for both. Now, let's specify weak layers from the Geometry Workflow tab. Select Materials, go to Weak Layers, and then Add Weak Layer Surface. Choose the material as Interface 1 and Surface as Surface 1. After selecting OK, repeat the same steps to add the second weak layer, with Material as Interface 2 and the Surface as Surface 2. Then click OK. We'll first analyze the single, predefined elliptical slip surface in the model. Select Surfaces, then go to Slip Surface Options. Then select User Defined Surfaces. Ensure that Automatic Case Generation is selected in the Weak Layer Handling section. Select OK. Save the file and compute the results. To see the results, go to the Results tab, and then select Show All Surfaces from the toolbar. For easier viewing of individual surface results, check the Show Only Selected Outline checkbox. Cycle through the surface results to view the different slip surfaces generated during the analysis. Here, we can see that multiple cases were analyzed, with clipping the ellipsoid to each of the weak layers and without clipping at all. Now, switch the surface generation method to search method. To do so, select surfaces, go to slip surface options, then use the following settings. Surface type equals ellipsoid, search method equals particle swarm search, and enable surface altering optimization. Select OK and compute the model. It may take a few minutes for the analysis to complete, and then the results will be available in the Results tab. As expected, the global minimum slip surface looks to be clipped at the bottom by a weak layer. Click Contours or Show All Surfaces to browse the detailed results. Now change the contour data to Base Cohesion. The regions with zero cohesion show sliding along the weak layers. Skip the manual process of toggling between weak material layers when searching for the critical slip surface. Efficiently calculate the factor of safety and identify critical slip surfaces with the advanced multi-weak layer option in Slide 3. Visit the link in the description below to start your free trial of Slide 3.